Hello YouTubers, this is Brian and today's edit we're going to be doing some astrophotography processing and bringing out the Milky Way in this photo. So let's begin. Um, you notice I took this picture on September 22nd, 2017 at roughly 10:16 at night. Just for your information, this uh, picture was shot with a Sony Alpha A6300 and a Rokinon 12mm f2 lens I always like to process my photos by going down to the bottom and working my way up and what do I mean by that well here we go to the profile we want to remove the chromatic aberrations if there's any we want to enable profile corrections so I use the Rokinon lens so choose Rokinon we'll choose 12 millimeter f2 and then on the profile we want to make sure that a Sony or whatever brand camera you have is selected. We'll scroll up a little bit and we'll adjust the we'll neutralize the colors to make sure we got an even color balance on the photo. And if you notice up here we got the the green and the yellows more than the gray. So we want to make we want to try to get that as gray as possible. Uh, this is the way I do it. It might not be the correct way, but this is my way. So we want to adjust the vibrance all the way up to 100, saturation all the way up to the 100, and you'll notice that we have this horrible green tint with a little bit of yellow. So up here we're going to try to get this gray over as much as we can and get rid of these green and yellow colors. And with that we'll start off with the green. So when you adjust this, you can see the green kind of disappeared a little bit. We'll do a little bit more. And then maybe adjust the yellow a tiny bit. Nope. Oh, so I guess 5100 is it. And then once you feel like you've got a good enough color balance up here, we want to remove the vibrance and remove the saturation. And you'll see that it has evened out somewhat. Uh, once that's done, then we'll get on to doing the editing. So here we'll bump the exposure up a little bit as you can see over here on the blacks it's clipping she shows shadow clipping which is usually in the the color it shows is the colors that's clipping so right now it's blue once we bump this up it should remove that right there we'll mess with the contrast a little bit and you see when you move the contrast up it'll take your exposure back so you don't want to do it too much and the highlights, you mess around with that, get whatever get whatever feel you want. You want to make sure you don't blow out the highlights. And by checking that, you can zoom in. You can see none of the star, well this star is blown out, but that's probably white. And then the shadows, we'll adjust the shadows a bit, see if that does anything. Also remember with the shadows and the black sliders the more you increase it the more noise it brings out in your photos so you can see here what I mean by that so I like to do very little adjusting on the shadows and then the whites so you go too much do that and then still if you go too much you might end up blowing out the core of the Milky Way here which that seems to be the latest trend on Instagram and people seem to get thousands of likes on it and the photo is absolute garbage well that's my opinion at least so we'll jump this down check the stars see the middle of the stars have the the highlight clipping on there so to adjust that we'll take the whites and there you go it's gone and then again with the blacks, don't want to do too much or you're going to bring out, introduce too much noise into the picture. And then also everyone's favorite slider is the clarity. But if you do that, that is also like the blacks and the shadows. It will bring out tons of noise, but it also brings out a bunch of detail. So you want to make sure you use this slider very sparingly. Looks all right. Some more blown out whites here. It's not very critical to do that, but 
I'm very picky about my stuff. And also we can mess around with the tone curves. You can see depending on what you do, it will affect the image. This is more of the highlights. We're down here is on the blacks. And if you want to get really, really technical about it and you don't like it too much, you can click on the fine adjustment point thing here. And you can, if you want to say adjust like this band of colors, you can see down there in the tone curve box where wherever you have this cursor, it's going to go down into that area what you'll be adjusting. So if you want to adjust like this area here, just click and pull up or down. But see if you go too far up, it'll wash out all of your colors. Looks pretty good. You hit done there. And if you notice when I zoomed in here, you see this purple color cast around the stars. That's the chromatic aberration. So we want to go back down here. Click on manual. Do the eyedropper. Take your eyedropper and go around one of these stars with the purple on it. Find the purple and click it. And just like that, it's gone. Not bad. I think it could be a little bit brighter. That looks good for now. And that's about it. And that's pretty much as about as basic a workflow as you can get. Uh, we do a before and after right here. So you can see by just spending a couple of minutes on your picture you can go from this over here on the left to this over here on the right and then once you're happy with this you'll go down here right click go to export and then send it to wherever you want if you got a folder already picked out in Lightroom do that uh, if you don't that'll be for another tutorial I guess well thank you for watching uh, if you liked it, please leave a comment, and don't forget to click like, and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.